Hey, everyone. Welcome to Tripod's Garage, where we're going to open up a CRS6 SE that gave me a little bit of a problem. But I'm not going to be tackling this alone. I brought a friend to help just answer some questions. He has a great YouTube channel, and um, he's going to help monitor the chat and just help participate because my back will be turned a lot and I won't be able to help out with the chat as much. So hopefully uh, he can do better than I can. So anyways, without further ado, let me introduce Greg from Greg's Maker Corner. How you doing, Greg? Hey, doing great, Tripod. Thanks for uh, having me in here tonight. Oh, uh, thanks for um, joining. So, you know, it's a lot of work to work with me because, you know. <laughs> 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 nah. Um, but um, basically what I want to get out of this is that anyone that's followed me on social media, I kind of like exploded, you know, I had my... Um, Karen moment on social media because I uh, <laughs> plugged in my uh, my Raspberry Pi because I was actually just doing trying to do one of those like uh, little YouTube videos and um, into my CR6 SE because I just did that hot end upgrade and it was printing yeah. great. Oh yeah, that was a great video. And um, <laughs> it I decided to um, electrocute uh, my Raspberry Pi, my webcam, and and smoke came out and fried my board and now my um, like, let's see here. If we go over to here. Oh, let me just bring that uh, in full screen here. Um, yeah, my uh, cord is welded to my uh, <laughs> to my. Not port. quite what you would expect, huh? No, but hey, you know what? If, if this maybe that's just an added feature. You know, it's like you know what we just keep it plugged in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I appreciate everyone tuning in. Um, we got some people in the chat. Let's call them out here real quick here, um, because some have been waiting a long time. I really appreciate you guys coming in. You know, we got we got Dominic. Thanks, Zachary. Uh, it's pretty late for you, I know. And so, yeah. Karen, I appreciate you coming in. Karen may join the stream later. So, um, Jerry, three D printing and painting, awesome. A three D medic. You know, yeah, met you at, at Murph. Yeah, he sat right behind you, right next to me. I think he talked to my wife more than he talked to me. So, I, <laughs> you know, but uh, uh, Ibotics, nice. Uh, Ibotics, nice to see you here. Um, and and Greg, you're here too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Good to be we got here. Thomas. Thomas is uh, from uh, Sweden. He's a good guy, man. Real good guy. He helped me out with the Ender 5 Plus build, uh, you know, ultimate upgrade. Really knowledgeable. Oh, nice. Got uh, non-fam. Nice to see you. So, yeah. Uh, and we got uh, Radmaster, yeah. Steve Cook. Yep. So Good crowd tonight. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, we got Rich. I just uh, met him <laughs> the other day. We had a nice conversation before the stream. Great guy. Jason? Uh, well, we'll expect some um, nice uh, comments from Jason, I'm sure, coming through. <laughs> so, and, uh, oh, look at, we got uh, Shane and DeWitt. Hey, folks, he's That's got great. a couple of CR6s. Now, what I want to do uh, this stream is just be informative. This is by no, no means a educational stream or anything. What I want to try to do is, you know, get into this printer, swap out the board. I just got another Big Tree Tech board the other day or yesterday. I got. A, if you want to see how bad the comments are on what I posted, you go to Creality's um, echo chamber of garbage yeah. because they cannot believe that they all. It's almost like I purposely put the said it has a Big Tree Tech board in it, right? Because they all immediately blame the Big Tree Tech board. Instead of what we're going to show right now is. Yep. At least nobody told is. you to level the bed, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> always. Um, hold on. Let me uh, get rid of this here. So Richard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, leveling the bed is always the best part, right? You got to do that. That's step zero. <laughs> yeah. So let's get to the, um, to the meat of the issue here. Okay. This is the problem, all right? Yep. So this post was back in December of 2020, okay? What I had to do was try to back up my claim, right? 
because no one would believe me that it's that this type of damage would be caused by the machine itself. My frame is shorting to the plus 24 DC from the PSU due to a fault with the heat bed. B, it is a bad, uh, this is bad because that it means that USB shield is being driven by at 24 volts relative to the USB ground when many devices, you know, RPI PCs will short these together, the frame should be a floating DC, okay? So we scroll down here and um, lots of comments, right? But uh, this was actually relatively calm in here compared to stuff that I've been dealing with. Mm -hmm. Okay, to sum it up even more, this is what they're talking about, okay? You should not be getting 24 volts through into the mm. into the USB sheet that will yeah. cause this. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. So people are saying that, oh, you should be cutting the five volt pin, right? Or the five volt on your USB. No. Okay. Your your computer is supposed to be able to interact with this port on the front of your 3D printer. So you're trying to tell me that I have to have a special proprietary cable to plug into my 3D printer and and it's only gonna be this one. Okay, no, that, I'm sorry, that's to me is a little bit ludicrous here. So, I mean, yeah, so this, he's just going through other models here, or uh, yeah, actually his is modified. But yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, there's plenty of uh, carnage. You know, this is not Sebastian's uh, GitHub. He's the one that helped co develop the community firmware. Um, yeah, so this person has actually had the same problem that I had right here. You know, it's, it's great started. how he really digs in and shows what the issue is, right? Well, and, yeah, these are people yeah. that contributed to it, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a great read. I will post these later, and so here's the other one, right? Though so Greg and I pointed yeah. out that before that they're swapped, but it doesn't really matter. It's yeah. you know, because now it's it, saying it, negative, but just think of that as positive. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's a um, very interesting tale to say it at least, right? Um, yeah, so anyone that says that it's it's the <clears throat> USB 5 volt pin is wrong. Okay, this is, it's just that it's yeah. underneath the the bed is the problem with the clips. Yeah, it's a okay? grounding issue. Yep, so what we're gonna do here, I wanna try to keep this around an hour because I want people to be watching it again. I, I'm gonna rephrase this. This is only me getting the machine up and running. And that's why I want to achieve from this. Of course, with participation from others, you know, have, you know Greg is going to be inviting people in and out. And he's going to share the, you know, we got some guests that will come on and he's going to share the link to them on um, Twitter and they'll pop on it. And then maybe later on, we'll open it up to everyone. But I'm going to open up the machine. We're going to, I'm going to swap the board as quickly as I can. But the Biggest problem I might have is removing that USB cable. So I got some cutters. I may have to do it that way. Um, if anyone watched my, watched my Big Tree Tech upgrade video, um, that uh, hold on. should avoid plugging in the printer into the computer. Glad I never tried it. Yeah. So that's one thing I was actually said. I'm glad that I have a $2,000 HP laptop. I'm just thankful that I didn't plug that in. I haven't had a need. I don't, I rarely plug my laptop in to any of the printers unless I'm calibrating or something with Pontifex. So, but anyways, yeah. if you watched my video before, I actually upgraded the internals with the Big Tree Tech. I already put ferrules on it and everything on there. So this should go hopefully relatively quickly. Um, Greg is gonna share comments. He's gonna comment on stuff as my, because I'm gonna have my back turned a lot during this and I'll, I have my wireless mic on so I could also hear Greg and everyone. So without further ado, I got some tools ready and everything. I have two camera angles that I'm going to try to work with. <laughs> um, I'll listen to Greg and tell me which camera is better. I'm going to run two and I'm going to maximize my screen. All right. So let's get going. No, you don't want to see my ugly face on here. So <laughs> let's see. We'll do, we'll do this one. Let's see, so we got the document camera right here, and then we have the SLR behind me. So, all right, let's get going. Um, 
I'm not a fan of turning machines on the side. So anyone that's watched me before, I have a piece of foam from uh, um, that I save for that in case if I do have to turn the machine on the side. And we'll go ahead and, and I've, of course, for safety reasons, I've already unplugged that. Here's my, um, so what happened with my Pi, it killed all the USBs. So all the USBs are fried on it, um, which also killed my camera. And I bought this camera during the height of COVID. So that cost me about $120 for an $80 camera. So, wow. yeah, so between the, the camera, the Pi, and the Big Tree Tech Board, I'm out about um, close to $300. So, and considering that I, uh, it didn't blow up my PC, I guess I should be thankful. <laughs> so, <laughs> for um, <sure. laughs> yeah. So I have the Sunloo filament dryer already drying filament. Um, so where I'm ahead on that for, because I like to get a print going. Yeah. Also, I've, uh, prepped, um, the community firmware on the SD card. So, because I'm going to reflash both the board and mm -hmm. the display with the community firmware to the most recent version. Cool. So, oh, uh, I wonder right. if we can, uh, make you a little bigger. Was, uh, which that. part? Oh, yeah. So yeah. let me switch it to. Just so everybody that. can see that. Yeah. Okay. yeah oh, and then, yeah, let me. Uh, Maybe do the side layout. Yep, definitely. There, there we go. go. Perfect. That's why I have you there, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to help. <laughs> All right. So there's no no char or smoky bits left on it, right? You got all that washed off. <laughs> uh, no, um, I haven't even gotten into it yet. So, um, like I said, this cable. <laughs> uh, let me get that. This cable. Mm -hmm. Here, let me it's get still better. Stuck angle. in place. Yeah. So you know what? Let's see if we can remove it. Right. So watch oh. this. So. Mm. <laughs> Just give her a good tug. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Yeah. This could be a problem. Oh, there actually, we go. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Hey, maybe it's still usable. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. It might be you a lot. <laughs> oh, I, it looks like a pin's missing on the inside. So, yeah. All right. So, the most difficult well, that's good. part might be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. If I remember right, I got to remove the screw that's on, on the top here. Move the bed as far as I'll go forward. Um, I got some tools here and let's get going. <laughs> all right. We're, we're all wondering uh, what the pool is. If you electrocute yourself. Oh, from, um, uh, Thomas Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like that any time of live stream happens with me, that's usually the case for some <laughs> reason. People like to <laughs> like a good poke, right? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's with everyone's fascination with try about getting electrocuted. I, I mean, what have I done wrong to the community that I deserve this? But you know what? It's fine. I can't oh, actually, Kieran brings up a good point. Uh, is everything unplugged? I think it is. But Yeah, it's been unplugged for <laughs> since it happened okay. two days ago. Just making sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We got odds 59 to 1 now for Matt German. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah hopefully it didn't take anything out you know yeah beyond the board yeah because well i guess the stream will end early right <laughs> yeah we'll find out soon enough yeah so i i don't have a 6e but it looks like it's very similar in design to the ender 3 in terms of where the box is located yeah there we go. Yeah, so you got the the three. Mm -hmm. And this was on the floor for a while, right? So it's got a little, <laughs> yeah, yeah, got yeah. a few cobwebs and <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said, oh, I think the floor didn't take care of all of it. <laughs> so, damn it, nothing like a good floor printer. <laughs> yes, people are like they were kind of insulted when I posted on Twitter, and I'm like, and you even backed me up. I'm yep. like, I, you like I have a floor printer, I just yeah. rotate them. <laughs> That's everyone, right. Everyone deserves a floor printer. 
When you're tight on space, I mean, the floor printer is kind of a requirement. All right. So, so. here. Yeah, there you, <laughs> you got a few. Huh? Yeah. So, yeah, there's there's a few floor printers. So, <laughs> Smokey here. <laughs> well, it's called Dusty. I was, I was <laughs> nice. Was, I called it Dusty. Dusty. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I said, Dusty got a promotion. <laughs> you know, and, and uh, yeah. Astro Printer says maybe the webs. He might be onto something here. Maybe yeah. The webs cause the short. <laughs> yeah. Why well, so don't we open up here and we find spiders? <laughs> oh, let's hope not. Yeah. It would not surprise me, though. Those spiders get everywhere. All right. <laughs> Let me get a zoom in on here. So, got the fan here. All right. So, You'll see also when I did this, I did put ferrules on here on the Big Tree Tech upgrade. Oh, yeah. So I already did all that. That's um, good. They look yeah. nice and tight in there. Yeah. Those are great for spring terminals. Definitely the way to go. Yeah. So actually, I don't, with the way that I did the zip ties, it looks like I won't even have to do any of that. So um, did I not? Oh, see, I thought I was prepared with all the tools. <laughs> I forgot about the little screwdriver. Yeah. But, oh, darn it, Phillips. Got darn a few it. Phillips screws in there? Yeah. No, no, it was I need a flathead. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> that's a good one yeah <laughs> uh all right that's uh so and, tobias real quick uh we're trying we're gonna swap out the board yeah yeah so we're okay so yeah we're swapping out the board with another i got a brand new one another a big tree tech one okay so i'm just doing board for board you know, and what board is that again it's the skr our skr uh, i said uh, CR, uh, it's a CR6 SKR V1. Okay, CR6 SKR V1. Yep. Cool. So, and that's a special board made just for yeah, it's CR6. Our, so, let me um also bring up another thing here is that I got this board because I did contact Reality and they were of course backlogged, right? And I really wanted to get this printer running as a customer. Mm -hmm. And um, when this happened, you know, Big Tree Tech announced their board. I said, you know what? Why wait? I have yep. a couple of Big Tree Tech boards, and maybe this solves some of the issues that they've had with mm -hmm. theirs. So I said, okay, we'll do that. So when yeah. I put, when I posted this on, of course, on social media, especially on the Creality Echo Chamber of Love, <laughs> um, they might have uh, got some other ideas, right? Yeah, of course <laughs> the. That's why I brought up right away the 24 volt because it, everyone, except for a few, meant said it's big tree tech. I said, okay, that's yeah. fine. Everyone's entitled to their yep. opinions, and that's what they are their opinions. If people right. didn't look or even ask or investigate. So I purposely waited a while mm -hmm. to see what the echo chamber was saying before I decided to echo my thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> so. that's good. It's fair. Yep. And did a little homework too, which yeah, is, oh yeah, uh, and that's actually when I found the other stuff. Uh, so, yeah. and you know, I'll say I've I've had several big tree tech boards, and I know some people do have issues with them, and I, I yeah. think you would find that with any board. But I've got one running in the Voron Zero back here, and uh, I've got uh, another one running, and I'm I'm getting ready to try the Octopus, which is one of their newer boards. So I I think they're pretty good, you know, good yeah, quality I, stuff. Yeah, you know, I have it in the Ender 5 Plus. I've never had a problem with yep. it. And um, right now, I'm just... Uh... See? Even my crutches. Yeah. My crutches <laughs> go on the floor. So don't talk to me about my printers being on the floor. My poor crutches, man. <laughs> All right, so let's get these heat sinks put on. Oh, you know what? Let's do something that will irritate people. 
and all, all of us OCD people, including myself. <laughs> Ready? Ready for this? You put it on. <laughs> oh no, no, you can't do that. It's not gonna work. <laughs> oh yeah, I've. And you know, getting those things off can be a challenge once you put them on, too. <laughs> Depending on how. Well, how I should have made that one the other way instead of alternating. Damn it! Now it looks right. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Zachary, no! <laughs> oh, but I could do this one here. There we go. I now I'm gonna redeem myself. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it's it's funny. Um, there. so Thomas says he's lost a few boards before he even uses Ender Five, and I've heard of people like I think it was is it was it Llama a while ago? He was. Uh, he, I think his caught fire even. So I, I think it's kind of a mixed bag sometimes. And it probably depends on how you're using them, too. Yeah, I thought there was another. <clears throat> uh, it'll be back in here. I could sworn there was. Yep, there's another one hidden down there. It's like there's. I thought there was four screws. Mm -hmm. Well, just like in the video, I got too much hand in the in the, in the camera. <laughs> yeah, we can see it. All right. So uh, this is a direct. Yep. Uh, so with with this board from Big Tree Tech, it already has firmware on it. It's a direct plug-in play board. So if you were to actually put this in your CR6 SE, you wouldn't have to do anything to it. It just works. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, according to the Crowley yep. group, it doesn't work. So, <laughs> <laughs> and do you know if it comes with uh, thermal runaway enabled? It, yes, it does. That's good. <clears throat> well, you know what? Let's just start by the bottom here, and yep. Now, are these labeled enough where you're going to remember where to plug them back in? Yeah. If not, I have uh, I have it on my phone from when I did okay. the upgrade. So, you know what? Let's just do it anyways. Yeah, just, just get it. So it's right there in your roll. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, camera and camera. You ready for this? <laughs> it's like Inception. Yeah. Uh, that was actually a pretty good movie. Uh, <laughs> it so, was. I, I feel like um, some, uh, some of these people are um, taking enhancers when they decided to write something and direct something <laughs> so <laughs> i'll just leave yeah. it at that to be politically correct <laughs> so <clears throat> so far as a sneak peek the board looks i mean we'll look at it later the um hopefully if we get everything printing mm -hmm. uh, we'll take a look at the surface of the board and underneath yeah so underneath <clears throat> didn't look crispy so Oh really? Yeah. yeah, I mean it looked relatively. Well, yeah, because you you had the smoke coming out, right? Yeah, it came. It actually came out from the display oh, on okay. the top here. So it was it. I don't know. Um, I guess there might be a pathway up here. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it wasn't um, the power supply. <laughs> so and. Oh, that's a that's a good point. Yeah. So. Yeah, once you let the magic smoke out, you know, it's hard to get it back in, as they <laughs> That's say. That's true. Who said that? <laughs> That's just old wives' tale, I think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thomas Anderson is asking if uh, the display is working. No. I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, it's not. Well, okay. No, it... So I did power cycle it once, mm -hmm. and it didn't do anything. Didn't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, those are probably like what fifteen twenty dollar displays. Yeah. If you have to replace it. Yeah. Um. So say let's uh, set expectations. Yeah. If it doesn't work, okay. If this doesn't work, I'm not going to plug my computer in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I just want to make sure that we're clear on that. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, if I had a, uh, I'm not the biggest Mac fan out there. Maybe if it was a Mac, I can I'll do it. But, but I have a, a pretty expensive one that I that's work issued, and I don't think they'll be very happy if I test that one live. So, <laughs> yeah, and probably considering not. I'm an IT manager full time, um, that wouldn't be exactly the best thing to do either. So. <laughs> Can relate to that one. <laughs> so, but I was able to convert two people on the Creality Group Echo Chamber of Love. So, and that's oh what yeah, call them. yeah, to the that, to the board or yeah, to the that, issue? Uh, that, that was the um, the ground issue. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because of course, you know, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and he actually might join the stream. He said he's working. Yeah. So, hold on, let me get a better. There we go. Kieran, Kieran uh, chimed in and said, "Make sure you do the captain captain tape before any of the powers." Oh, oh yeah, well. I got. Yeah. Do you think this will be enough? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could captain tape that entire printer if you wanted. <laughs> Just want to make sure. <laughs> Because I uh, just want to make sure that I have uh, enough to satisfy people. Yeah. I was like, actually, I was looking for it like for a half hour. I thought I unboxed it from before. Um, this one thing, I, this <laughs> is getting these lined up, these screws. Because I always mm -hmm. wind up twisting them the wrong way. It's actually the opposite to yeah. get them crimped down. Yep. Jerry says uh, maybe your wife should build the next one if you keep having problems. I I, I totally agree, Jerry. <laughs> so I mean, I, she's probably actually better at this than I am. <laughs> Why do you think I put that disclaimer ahead of time? Because she's not the one that's doing it. Hey, we're up to 42 watching. Oh, oh nice. Hey, uh, why don't you uh, go ahead and um, let them know about your channel there, Greg. What do you do? Oh, sure. I, I see that. Well, I, I saw the Love Spot running behind you. Oh, That's yeah. The uh, nice little machine you got there. And you did some reviews on it, right? Yeah. So I was at Murph and picked up a Love Spot Taz 289. I think I got the model number right. And I know it's... Uh, if you guys have seen any of the, you know, just the feedback on it, it's getting a lot of discussion, some good, some maybe not as good, but uh, I did a review on it, put it on my channel, which is Greg's Maker Corner. And I've also got the Voron 0.1 in the background that you can kind of see over my shoulder there, and it's printing out something right now. But I took that one to Murph, and uh, I did an entire build series on that. So a lot of fun. Yeah, and uh, please, everybody... Like and subscribe if you're not already. Especially to Greg. He's helping me out <laughs> here, show some love. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Ooh, a family build video stream. Now that is that's a <laughs> good idea, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've got uh I've got a couple daughters and one of them's, you know, she flies drones with me. And, uh, and I, I've kind of gotten her interested in printing, but so far mm, we're still working on that. <laughs> well, thanks Blink. Hey, oh, we've yeah. got a visitor here. Should I add him in? Oh yeah. I think Sorry. I know that pan. I know, I know not the panda, <laughs> but it's a, uh, it's a raccoon. Hey, That's right. Hey, hey. <laughs> so on. Good to see you. Yeah. Welcome to the party. So yeah, I was uh, t chatting with Zolan, and he yesterday he pointed it out before I could get it out of my mouth what was wrong with it. it was pretty <laughs> yeah. impressive. So twenty-four, like, 24 volt to ground, it can do some amazing things. Yep, <laughs> and and going through the USB, right? So yep. so here's the thing: as we look at this cable here, explain to them, Zolan, if you wouldn't mind, mm -hmm. where's the the sheath on this? The mean the uh the, the ground, ground the shield. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the it's that right there. Yeah. Yeah. The metal. So if that grounds, if you apply voltage to that or to one of the data pins, it's going to weld. Yeah. So how do I know? Be... I've done it on accident. <laughs> <laughs> now I didn't do it to a printer board. Um, actually, recently I hit with only 19 volt. Thank you, lipo. <laughs> um, and welded a USB cable to a flight controller. Oh, Ooh. thankfully it was only an F3 flight controller I didn't care about. Yeah, F3 is really like two years ago, so you're good. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, Greg and um, Juan, <laughs> they are drone buddies. So, um, Zola, why don't you plug your channel here real quick while we're doing all this? Uh, well, I've got actually a couple. I have Shop of Wonders, which is we'll be spinning back up soon to do things like this. Um, yeah, that's a very good question. Why is he rotating left to Titan? Um, anyways, oh, uh, okay, so I'll explain that on here. So, uh, on how these these pins these. So when I first did this upgrade, I'm like. What is going on here? It's like so I'll, I'll show you guys later. And then, well, after I'm done okay. putting the board on. Let's so, uh, Zillow Shop of Wonders is where I'll be doing more of my printer and my maker stuff. Um, especially once I get the rooms cleared out enough, I, I'll be pulling my vinyl cutter and everything in. And then I have FPV Junkyard, which is where I post most of my flight videos that it puts a little separation between me and my other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and there's good reason for that. <laughs> uh, yay, FAA. There's new rules yeah. every day, every week. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I have a Mavic Mini, and mine's a 239 yeah, yeah. gram. And that's supposed yeah. to, that may even change for the weight requirements, too. Yeah. All right. Oh, so, it, it's changing even more, but go ahead. Okay. So you were asking about why I was going counterclockwise. Watch this. So I, I'm going opposite. So watch what happens to this connector here. So when I turn it, yeah, it's got to raise. Yeah, so it's going to raise. So if I turn the screw clockwise, you would think that it's going to smush it, right? Oh, I it actually like you were turning the case screw the wrong way. No, oh, okay, no, the case screw was going the right, correct way. So, okay. but that's why this uh, kind of like threw me for a loop for a little bit when I was inserting them. I totally forgot, you know, that these behave that way, uh, yep. opposite of what you would think. <clears throat> because with those, when you're screwing the screw, what you're actually doing is lifting that gate. When you're tightening, yep. it lifts the gate. When you're loosening, it pushes the gate. Tightens it. Yep. Think, think of the gate the as the nut. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me get rid. Let me dim this light on here. Oh yeah, I thought I saw some brown there. Maybe not. All right. So I had the. Now, I don't see anything yeah. on here because this That's document camera obvious. has a lot. Nothing obvious yet. Um, because if anything, you would think it would be right here, right? right? Oh, hold on. Let me get. Let me switch just to document camera here. Get rid of that. There we go. That'll help. Um, I would probably guess it's a trace, maybe a ground trace near the uh, USB port. Yeah. And nothing. And okay, so this is. I don't know how many layers it is. Uh, so for people yeah. that don't know, PCB boards could be. A you dozen layers. Thick. Yeah, I'll do that later. But okay. yes, I do have one. Um, also, uh, look, no, no fuse pop. Yeah. All right, but all right. Well, that's it for now for that. Yeah. So uh, we we saw enough. Uh, We'll go ahead and so also before you seal it up, you want to make sure that you're not going to pinch anything. <clears throat> okay, so no exposed wires down in here. Everything looks good. Um, everything is where it's supposed to be. But uh, and Shane's asking if it was a printed circuit board. What's that? Yeah, actually, I'm not sure what the question is there. Printed circuit board board. Hmm. Maybe you can clarify, Shane. Okay, I'll plug the fan back in. Oh, uh, Astro Printer suggests the power it up before closing. Um, yeah, considering we're not, uh, 
you know what? It's not that many screws, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. You know, if it was more, you know, it's, I mean, whether it fixes the issue or not, we're just going to seal it up, you know, yeah. because I'm not going to leave it, you know, there's no disassemble, right? We're going to just leave it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it, given the, the way the printer's laid out, it, it's, Probably not a huge deal. You just might not see the, see the smoke right away. Yeah, if there well, is an issue still, but you'll see it. <laughs> yeah. So, and definitely make sure before you seal it up here. Let me go back to. There we go. Um, yeah. this right here, when you push down the top, it could pinch in here too. So mm -hmm. definitely make sure that that's clear. Um, also I put inside here tape <laughs> under there because I don't know, for some reason someone said, oh, it's shorting out against the chassis there. I'm like, um, there's mm -hmm. a good gap there. And mm -hmm. so when I did the video. I was like, okay, let's just cover all of our bases. Uh, just yeah. in case someone Better says safe no. than sorry. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why I didn't do the Capton tape fix is because there was no press release from Crowley. I got grief on that. Yeah. Like, you know, because everyone, you know, my name isn't hidden out there from the world. Some people know yeah. me on on the um, groups, you know, that and you can't join a Creality group under a your channel name or something. It has to be yeah. Unless yeah, you create yeah. a a Facebook name with your channel, mm -hmm. so you're kind of stuck with your name. <laughs> and uh, people are like, "Oh, you knew about it. Why didn't you do the fix?" I said, mm -hmm. "It's not a fix. It's a community fix." They're like, what do you mean? I said, did Crowley release the statement saying that was a, a a fix on it? Oh, okay, then no. Yeah, I mean that's otherwise it's just again a, an opinion or an idea, you know. Yeah. You, you just, I mean, there's a lot of those out there, right? So you never yeah. really know. Is this something I really should be doing? Could this yeah. make it worse? So that's where it's huh. nice to have that official channel. Yeah, I I am a fan myself of putting the captain tape on it, but that's just because I have done stupid things when working with a printer, like accidentally <laughs> touch it with a screwdriver. Yeah, which is why everybody in the start was asking, "Are you sure it's unplugged?" <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> anything else? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, anything else happening in the chats here? Oh, not really. Um, okay. I think they're all just watching intently. <laughs> yeah, as I roll my chair into the camera. Um, did you do a continuity test of the heat bed wires to make sure that those aren't shorted at the bed? Um, no, not yet. So, uh, so Kieran just uh, chimed in and said, Creality have just released new printers with new switches and insulation under the print bed, but no statement on why they did it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So we'll so get into some of uh, um, we might get into some of my um, correspondence with Creality. I'm I'm trying to tread lightly here because I'm not yeah. trying. This is not like I said at the beginning. It's not to to um, bash anyone. I don't think anyone deserves it. I mean, if you want to see that, you can see my video when I first reviewed this. It's mm -hmm. enough said in my closing dialogue. Um, because I'm a customer of this printer. I'm not a partner. Partners, you could weigh in on um, on what they want to see from you at the beginning. So I've done reviews where it didn't even make it to my channel because mm -hmm. they, they chose not to, to air it because the product didn't perform as I expected. All right. Shall we see? <laughs> okay, so right now there's no USB plugged in, right? So we should see power on. Whether the you've, <laughs> go ahead. real quick, you've got the tape under the bed, right? No, that's what I'm asking. No, uh, yeah, don't do it. Just tape it first. I would. Uh, okay, yeah. well, all right. So I'd let's probably uh, tape it. All right, yeah. so let's do that. 
So that's why I'm having, um, I, this is a community driven. Uh, well, so unless it, you want to check well, it with the multimeter and show the issue. Which is what I was going to yeah, say that's to you fine. first. Yeah, yeah. Do the multimeter yeah, because okay. so if, the here, is, if the bed itself has a short. Right. Okay, so here's the problem. Let's take a look. Yeah. Let me actually show you. This, yeah. Oh, wow. This, that's with that connector. See this right here? Yeah. It's actually in the PCB. Yeah, so you can see. Screws. Yeah, so. Let me go ahead and remove the glass bed. I just wanted to turn it outside here so everyone can see. Yep. And then let me take off the glass bed first because that's where we're going to have to mm -hmm. remove the screws. Oh, and see, now I was thinking you could have done it at the board. Just put the multimeter on one wire, touch the frame or something somewhere and see if it beeps. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, this will be good though because you'll be able to see how the wiring in that PCB bed uh, is touching it, right, with the screws. Yeah. I think it's nice to see well, that. Well, it's not the. I don't think it's. Yeah. So it's <clears> the <throat> clip is metal, right? I think yeah. if they were made it where it was plastic, mm. it we may have seen a different story here too. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I know how to, this is just a very coarse, it's not like a real, like when you remove a screw, sometimes it's, you can feel it grinding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Kinda it's not walking like, around. yeah. <laughs> and, um. I received pictures of a Creality uh, fixing kit for this too. Mm -hmm. So that's good. It, yeah. So I can, we'll, if we get to the point of, uh, of workmanship here, we'll, uh, oh, these are, what? Well, of course, what's a, what's a, a build or <laughs> tear down without dropping something, right? Yep. And if it's like my floor, once it falls down, if it's a screw, <laughs> you're never going to find it again. Oh. You might as well just get a new one out. <laughs> right. You mean you're screwed? <laughs> <laughs> I have, I, I'm the floor at my feet here at this desk probably has so many of those little tiny M2 <laughs> screws from the Flywoo Explorer. Yeah. Yeah. Voron, the Voron Zero One had them as well. And I, I think I, Luckily, I, ha I had a ton of spares, but it was pretty bad. Those are tiny. And I don't understand those ones. When, you un when you're undoing them, even with the magnetic drive, Yeah. they just Doesn't poof, matter. gone. Yep. Wow, I mean, it's just, oh. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not like one of those gratifying things, you know, you, I should have just had a charged up my power screwdriver. You know, I will say though, looking at that bed, it's, it looks like it's pretty well designed from it, this it, angle. It's, oh. You know, when I was looking for my second machine, I said, okay, mm -hmm. I have the Ender 5 Plus and, and I only envisioned having two machines. Well, mm -hmm. now I have 11, but, <laughs> but, uh. This was, and I want to remind people that I purchased this machine as well as my Ender 5 Plus. This was at the time my second 3D printer. Mm. So I have a vested interest on in getting this machine running. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if we could get on this. Yep. There we go. All right. I don't know how well you can see. Um, it's yeah, it's it's not bad. Can't you know? Okay, so I can actually here. Let's uh. Okay, there you could sort of see the the heating element in there, right? The lines. Yeah. There we go. It's like some overlap right on the the side of the hole there. Yep. So. Oh, that is not good. No. So yeah. So this is where. You know, they say that you should be, you know, the fix is the magical tape, right? Mm -hmm. 
So the high temp tape kept on tape. Yep. yep. I'm not quite sure how the tape works with that though. Okay, because... so... Go ahead. I know. I yeah, that's that's my wondering too on that. Is that is it well it's there's a video out there. there. Yeah, I don't want to mm -hmm. be broadcasting their video on here about they did actually do a test with this, right? And if you I'll show you the parts um that they again send to it you know send with it and they have with these bed clips they have another thing that goes underneath it so yeah it's a uh, well so we'll put the tape on you know if, if it works it works right it's a real cheap fix and don't pay attention to my dirty rollers they're dirty this yeah, machine Jerry, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah yeah, see, that's Jerry's hit it dead on. Yeah. I, I, I'm worried about the threads of the actual bolt. Yep, and that's why I'm thinking too. It's like you have got the through hole threads, right? And if you have here going through the heating element, right? If there's a cut, so I'm just, you know, hold on, let me dim the light on this thing. Yeah, as long as you can isolate the screw itself from touching the harness and i think it would if it's depending on how the tape is positioned yeah so i can't feel it with my nail going around it okay so mm -hmm. i cannot actually it's not even in, in great lighting i can't tell oh, you know what yeah jason had brought up an idea which i was actually thinking you could also replace the bolts with nylon bolts mm -hmm. It's probably not a bad idea, but you'd have to get, you know, I've got a kit. Or those are probably, are those M3 screws? I'm not sure. Yeah, they're M3s. Yeah, M3s, yeah. Those are pretty common with nylon. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea for that. Yeah. And I think, I mean, that bed's not going to get hotter than 100C, and I think no, nylon I would be fine. Yeah, nylon can it get tight enough though? Yeah, pro possibly. <laughs> or or you just ditch them and you just use the 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 cheap uh, binder clips that they've been using no. forever. Yeah. Right. That's true. Might lose a little clearance, but yeah, be safer. Or don't use clips. Yeah. Uh, John stream. It took him longer to do the captain tape. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Print a TPU sleeve for the bolt to go through. There you go. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> now, hot glue. I don't know if that would be so great because it would probably yeah. melt. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know how how hot that edge gets though. So maybe. Yeah. There you go. And we'll send the screw through the other way. Mm -hmm. Or we'll, you know, we'll just do this. Yeah, just pop a hole. There you go. Here we go. Uh, Kieran says somebody has designed a printable clip to use, but he's looking for the link. Okay. I'm just doing the bottom one right now. So that bench back there is Maddie's craft corner bench. <laughs> so she's like, you always put your printers on my work here. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if there's an empty spot, I mean, a printer. Yeah. I'm like, um, uh, if you're, so she's actually fulfilling orders uh, tonight. So she's like, your stream has to end at a certain time. I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, because some printers have been promoted to this workbench, and it's like, all right. So let's get this uh, back on. Actually, you know what? Let's power it up right now, right? Yeah. All right. What are we up to on the odds on the magic smoke? <laughs> so the. Smoke poured out from behind the display. All right. Yeah. So that's what we're checking. Yep. So keep the camera on it. There we go. Perfect.
<clears throat> All right. All right. Oh, we're, we're 100 to 1 now. Okay. So the display <laughs> is not turning on now. However, I no don't have the I do not have the community firmware on there. So mm -hmm. I need to put that on there right now. And it's on the SD. Yeah. Now, where did I put my SD? <laughs> Uh oh, hopefully it's not on the floor. <laughs> no, no, no. Because <laughs> I did say I had it on the SD. Uh, hey, man, Cheech and Chong up in smoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what well, is this, Labrador we're smoking? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, uh... <clears throat> no, man, it's Creality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Give me some of that stuff. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's in the machine, says Kevin. <laughs> yeah, now you made me look. I, that would have been the best spot to put it. Oh, Everybody man. rewind. Rewind. Yeah. <laughs> rewind it. Where did John put it? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I oh, remember you it's, talking it's about it. It's back in the box. It's back. Oh, oh okay. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> All right. Somewhat so, logical. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it's upside down to put it in there, right? Can't never do anything right side up. <laughs> All right, so with the Corelli the or for the the firmware, um, the way it works is the LED um, will blink when it's upgrading. Mm -hmm. So it'll it it should rename it to dot cur too yeah. when, after yep. it, right? The bootloader does, yeah. But right now, it's not doing anything. Mm. That's oh, good. you could plug it into your computer and open Pronto. Oh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just check it with the multimeter first. <laughs> yeah. So the mm. one thing I didn't order was a new display. So, yeah, and the LED isn't blinking at all. So I'm going to check the SD card again, but yeah. I know I, I. So one thing you can try, uh, unplug the screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's something wonky. Because oh, I know with my printer, when the screen tweaks out, sometimes yeah. it won't power on when I have it plugged in. Oh, there we go. Good job. Hey. Yeah. Nice idea, yes. Zolan. I see it blinking now. We can yep. see the blue light flashing. So that definitely means you toasted the screen. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's probably, probably shorted out. Yeah, fact. because like I said, it came out from underneath the screen. Yep. And it's done because the blue light turned off. Yep. Cool. All right. So like I said, the board, well, it definitely fried the board because it didn't turn on. Yep. So... I was planning on taking this out anyways because I was going to do the upgrade to the screen. And so mm -hmm. I, I have a, you, with the way the community firmware works is that you uh, do um, both. You do the board first and then you do the screen. So we shall see if it's really toasted. Because like I said, it literally poured out of, from behind the screen. So if mm -hmm. it's, the stream may end pretty early. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like I said, I don't have a replacement screen available. Well, yeah. Six minutes is an hour, so. Yep, there you go. Uh -huh. Jason says, give it a smell check. Oh yeah. Well, we may just have a visual check on this one, Jason. <laughs> so, but yeah. Let's do it. Oh, it's toasty. Yeah. Oh no. So, <clears throat> that means if this fried too, ah, my board fried, my Raspberry Pi fried, my webcam fried, and then display. So basically, mm. anything that was along that five volt rail. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. Well, I'm looking up the displays. Is that that's a proprietary one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, looks like it's around fifty-five, sixty bucks. Well, maybe fifty. Yeah. Oh, here's one for thirty-seven. Yeah, it looks like yeah, not too bad. 
depending on where you get it from. <laughs> Smells like angry pixels. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> angry pixels. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I can see uh, yep. right there. Where? Yep. Right oh, towards yeah. left of that car. Yeah. Yep. yep. Hey, do, can you do a close up on that? I, yeah, yeah, hold on. Trying to see what kind of component that is. It's hard to tell. Uh, might be the voltage regulator. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, it's smoked. Yeah. That, that's that's toast. Yep. And yep, you are right, Greg. That's the voltage yeah. regulator. Yep, common part to go out when that kind of thing happens. Fantastic. Now, if you have a hot air rework station, you probably could try to replace that but i don't um, know there's there's probably more i mean it looks like the trace might even be burnt underneath it so <clears throat> so if you put your multimeter on either side and it, and you don't get any anything yeah, continuity. yep it's toast yeah. well i mean you could see that it is anyways yep. um, oh you know come on oh you know what let me switch it to the other camera give me a sec Get the the money shot in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it even oh, bubbled yeah. it. Yeah, that got pretty hot. That's probably oh. uh, yeah. There you go. You're, I don't know. I've seen worse. Yeah, but you're talking. Uh, the machine is worth, you know, what three seventy right now? They're selling it for, mm -hmm. and I have. Basically, that much in damages. Mm, oh yeah, easily. Yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. I mean, it should be a reasonable expectation that you don't need to protect your USB ports on any machine that you buy, no. right? Or or do hacks and workarounds to make it safe. I mean, at least I think. Yeah, I think that's reasonable, especially for that price range. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love uh, how it's. Uh, so I grabbed a screenshot of it for you. No, oh, yeah, I and mean, I love, I guess and I love how right next to it it says five volt only. Oh, it did. It did. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, Zachary got that too. <laughs> so you know, it's I've now done everything possible to make the machine safe, right? So, out of respect of um doing uh what the community says. So let's take a picture. Uh, let's take a look now of um what the repair kit looks like, okay? Yeah. Uh, when you have this issue with Creality, what they'll send you. So, uh, again, these were provided by uh, a person I met on the Creality group that was actually cordial and knew exactly what he was talking about. Mm. Um, so you'll see here, these are, but, you know, it looks like these go underneath. Mm -hmm. the, um, so you get new... Um, brackets i think these are for the back back mm -hmm. clips so like what's going to isolate it yeah, yeah so and then you have the isolation here um what you cannot <laughs> in, of course different board so yeah so these are in the back yep these are back clips mm -hmm. he does not know what these are for i don't know either um does it go underneath the board? I'm thinking uh, it goes underneath the clip in the front. Maybe well, that's, what these, well, that's what these do. So these are the oh. front and then these yeah. are the rear. Gotcha. Right? Yep. Um, actually looking at the spacing. So if you're moving your know. mouse to point out things, we don't see. Yeah, it. we're not oh, okay. seeing. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but okay. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so the ones that are more um, rectangle without the cut corners. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking at my printer right now, I don't know which ones they would belong to. But either way, these are definitely like isolation, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe the Kapton tape type fix. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to a mute button. It looks like uh, the hole actually has a little bit of play in it. So oh, you it saw actually that too, right? It separates the threads from mm -hmm. the metal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't zoom in on it on the, so I should have taken the, zoomed in on the shots, but yeah. But, uh, you know, this, uh, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shane, I think that's the, that's the problem, right? I mean, it, it does seem like we've lowered our expectations of 
certain printers just because of the price range. But this is like a safety issue, right? I mean, I think to an extent you have to make some things right. But I don't know. Like I, I remember they used to not ship it with, uh, you know, thermal runaway protection. So, but that that's an easy firmware change, right? And, and some so, of them they still do. Yeah. Yeah, it's. But you know, <laughs> the thermal runaway protection still doesn't truly protect you. But this is different. Mm -hmm. You're talking about a true manufacturing flaw that can cause a fire. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. It's tough for me to say. You know what I, I, <laughs> you know when I went off my first video was the you know I I purchased a printer that has some issues right and then it now it even just doing this live because I said I wasn't going to touch it and I did as you saw because that I could not take that board out without ripping that cable out mm -hmm. so all this you saw live which was live but I want to also say that this live stream is also sponsored by someone it has been kind oh, of yeah. oh yeah so how about we get that sponsorship in here um to so that way um here let me uh, uh go ahead and share our sponsor and uh also greg has used them also. yes so i have actually on my channel if you want to learn how to build a custom pcb way board that we had designed for a project uh, they're a great company you know i've used them several times for uh, custom PCB board design. Uh, good company. So this is sponsored by PCB Way. Okay, so they actually are more than a PCB supplier. Of basically, you if you want if you have a design board, you could ship it or you could send them your specs or your your layout, right? And they will send you your boards. Um, they also now do a lot of other things. They do uh, 3D printing. You could just send them your file, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injected molding, I'm gonna drop the comment. and say that you want to have a project and you just see something on their project page. You could actually do one of their projects and they'll ship you the board if you participate. So what was your experience with them? I mean, this I only found out, trust me, I found out just five minutes before the stream that greg actually uses them. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, oh he's not the only one i've used them too yep yeah, yeah. so um how, really how good in the their fast look? turnaround how do the products look yeah i mean i i think uh you know again going back to this so this is a custom it's actually a little mini gaming system and i help run a conference every year called code mash that's in sandusky ohio we have about 2500 or so developers that come in and this is one of the projects that we built last year and it's basically a, a little game portable gaming system with speakers and we had the pcb design you know custom design we designed it and then we sent it to them uh they printed about i think we did a couple hundred of them so works out really well yeah i mean i i was uh very happy that we got sponsored by them um, so it was a uh, great that, you know, we actually have two people on the stream that use them. Yeah. So, and, and it's, it's great that, you know, you know, as a maker community, you got someone, a company like that, that will print minimal boards for you in comparison to like others that will do only high volume. Mm -hmm. And they do yep. multicolor now. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. So, so, um, I recently helped somebody, uh, with PCB way. Who was working on a Euro rack module and okay. he has two different ones. He has a green one and a red one. He calls them red light stop, red light, green light. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and the quality here, came out amazing. Um, they back. sent him two uh, different shipments of prototypes and basically test runs. And he gave comments, and they he, they sent they sent him new ones based on his comments, no charge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, we're going to call this stream. I'm going to do a version 2.0. I'm going to leave everything the way it is. I'm going to order more. Actually, Gravity has been helping me out with this. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie to you. 
they actually have there because they want to fix things. And, you know, there's the way that my discussion worked with them is that, you know, there's still a lot of these, you know, machines that haven't been retooled. that are still out there in the community. Right. So yep. that's why I wanted to make sure that this is not a total trash creality type of thing. They oh, are yeah. looking to fix them, but it's a, it's a reactive instead of proactive, right? Here in the U.S., we're used to um, a lot of these companies being proactive with things, right? So when you're dealing with other companies, they behave differently, unfortunately. So they are working with me for solutions, and they did say, mm-hmm. hey, you know, let's see how we can work together to get this out there to make it known. You know, but this, honestly, from what I've read and seen, especially now, Hold on. But this is absolutely worst case scenario, right? Yeah. The only thing that has not fried on this machine is the power supply. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm basically the daughter board or the breakout board to the hot end, as far as I can tell. I mean, the everything yeah. kicked on on the hot end, as far as I can see. So yep. it's... Which that would, that would make sense with it being, those are probably all 24 volt components, which is the back feed that you're getting, so... Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to reach out to Creality. I'll uh, see what they can do to get me a part here, but there will be a round two on this for the live stream. I don't want to leave everyone high and dry to say, hey, what happened, right? So, you know, that's I guess that's where we'll leave it. Um, I yeah. just want to make sure everyone's fair enough with that, you know, because I want to make sure that, you know, everyone knows that this thing is working because that's where I want to go. I You actually got a sneak peek of my little upgrade that I wanted to post. That was if he actually caught it you, in when I turned it on the machine. So <laughs> it's just a, the little flare that I like to put on my machines. So, um, and it's it's something I like to do to just personalize it. The way I almost look at these machines is when I used to build PCs back in the day. I know that Jason has you know these rigs, you know, with fans and all, everything. It just personalize it to my own mm-hmm. liking, and you know. So hey, David. Hey, David mm-hmm. just made it. So David uh, is one of my one of my first subscribers to my channel. Great guy. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, I mentioned the U.S. Oh, uh, Rich, um, Greg kind of brought that up. So I'll let Greg go with the isolator because you have actually used them before, and uh, I think Zolan, you mentioned it too. An isolator. Use the isolator. I I actually have. Well, I'll let Greg talk about the. Board no, go ahead. I'll, go ahead, Zolan. Yeah. So. I actually have USB cables for all my printers that I opened up the sheathing and cut the VCC plus line. Okay. Yep. Um, now, the problem is, is I do not believe that would have protected you in this case. Oh, no, no, absolutely yeah. not. Okay, so anyone that doesn't know, that's he's talking about the 5-volt power that transmits back and forth, right? Is it on or no? Yeah, you're on mute. That is correct. You have a VCC plus on one side, you have a VCC neg on the other side, and then you have the ground, which is the shield. Yep. Yeah. Um, so the- and if you went through, so if you backfed 24 volt over the over the plus side, you might have been okay with my cable. Yeah. Um, but since I still have the negative line hooked up, if it right. went down that line, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, and then so Greg, you've used the isolators before, and what do they do? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a little more protection. I mean, what Zolan's talking about is basically, you know, a lot of these boards, there's a bias in the circuit and there's no diode on them, uh, which is pretty bad, right? I mean, it's a such an easy fix. So it backfeeds that 5-volt voltage, which is why, like, if you turn off the, you know, turn off your printer and you still have a Raspberry Pi connected or something, um, the Raspberry Pi might try to power the printer and you might see the screen light up. So, yeah, you, you can either cut your your five volt pin like Zolan was talking about, or you can even put a piece of tape, you know, in the actual, that's the cheap way to do it. Right. Um, the isola, the isolator itself, uh, does give you a little bit more of a board protection. So, you know, some people will use that. It's a little device and it might limit how much uh, voltage can, you know, can kind of go through there. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. from there's my understanding, there's isolator. overcurrent protection as well. Yeah. Right. Exactly. From my understanding, the yeah. isolator will smoke before anything else does. Exactly. It's like a yeah. think of it as like a fuse almost. But so say that you're printing from your you're sending commands to your printer, right off of that, and there's also a baud w- rate limitation 
to going mm -hmm. through those too. So it's honestly, if this has a USB on it, I should be able to use it as a USB. Yeah, I shouldn't have should, to be cutting wires. I shouldn't have to use isolators. Yeah. It should behave like a USB. Exactly. Yep. And that's, and that's actually a design flaw I've been complaining about with almost all the printer board manufacturers because a couple diodes, a couple resistors, and the whole thing's solved. Yep. Yeah, and that's... Oh, sorry, the wife just dropped something. <laughs> now, another nice thing about the isolators for you audio files out there, uh, Rich brings it up himself. If you use an isolator, you can actually solve ground loop issues with your audio. Mm-hmm. And that, that way you don't get that 60 hertz hum or 50 hertz if you're in, you know, some of the other countries. Yeah, I, so far, every printer that I plugged in with my computer is turned on the display. Okay, I don't, I don't have one in yeah. here. You know, I've never tried it on the, the um, you know, resin printer, but I'm sure it, it would do that too. But um, every printer that I have, I have 11 of them, has, has behaved that way. So you know. Yeah. And that is that is a difference when you buy some of the it, it all depends on the board right some of the mm -hmm. higher end boards like the i can guarantee you the you know the uh like the INC rambo the INC retro the duet three duet two wi-fi none of those are going to have those issues right um there's a little more quality and and uh quality components and a little more design that goes into the circuits so that's what you get when you pay more all right so i'm I, I guess that's all I have. I mean, unless <laughs> anyone else has, um, you know, I know I, I think Karen dropped off or something. I haven't seen him on there, but um, I did. I, you know, I definitely appreciate my guests and maybe they could join me on for part two. Yeah. <laughs> so Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's a great help having someone on, you know, behind the scenes answering questions. And I'm, I'm glad that none of the, um, the toxic environment that I was facing in the Creality forums made it into here because that's also what I was afraid of. Yeah. So, oh, Karen's still here. So, um, because it's it's an echo chamber of everyone being an expert. You know, I you know I that video that I posted it took me seven shots to calm down most of my anger because it's <laughs> different when it's just the the printer itself but when it fries yeah. electronics that you actually you know, like i rely on i only have one pie because i don't do octolaps and all that often you know mm -hmm. and and it's i i you know i have different profiles for different machines and it just goes around from machine to machine when i decide to do something like that and when it fried it and my webcam i was livid <laughs> you know because it's it's more than just a board now it's yeah. a, and the know? fact that it took out the webcam shows a design flaw on the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it traveled throughout the whole USB bus. Yeah. Right? So There's not as much protection on those either. I mean, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like, how much protection should you really expect, right? The, to do Rev, the Rev A Pi 4 USB-C has that issue. Was it a 4? Issue. It was a four. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why. Yes. Yeah, you're right, Zolan. That is a design deficiency is on, yeah, on the 4s. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have a diode on them anymore like they used to. Oh, really? That's correct. I, 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 I'm, I'm new to this. Yep. I only yeah. have had this the, one. The yeah. second gen board it does not have that issue. Yep. Oh, so I got to look for version two of the yes. i4? Uh, good luck getting a version one right yeah. now. Thanks to the chip shortage, yeah, most they're of not. the back stock has been burnt. Okay. So, yeah. it's uh, But, you know, I mean, now it's another part to order, but I'll get it ordered. You know, I, I like I said, I believe... Creality is going to help me out on this one because they want to see it yeah. fixed as well. You know, it leaves a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths with this. Um, so, it's again, the purpose of this was to get the machine up and running. So there will be a part two, um, and I'll let everyone know when it happens. I'm going to just leave everything dissected. Not going to move anything around. But I'm going to have to <laughs> have more floor printers for Maddie's craft corner because she's got some uh, merch to send out. <laughs> so, and she's my supplier. So, <laughs> I, so I go have four floor printers. <laughs> so, uh, but actually, I'm donating um, a couple of these printers to um, local schools. Um, my nice. daughter, one of her friends, is uh, awesome. taking engineering class and she needs a 3D printer. So, 
Perfect. I'm giving her one of the printers. So I'm not giving her one that has been, uh, haven't released a video <laughs> before because it's uh, not done too well. <laughs> so yes, yes, the sequel, part two. <laughs> ever, ever, ever seen Hot Shards what, part two? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so. All right, everyone. Uh, so Zolan and Greg, I'll meet you in the green room. So I'm going to say, why don't you uh, again plug your channels real quick? Uh, Greg first. Yeah, I'm Greg's Maker Corner. So uh, just search me on YouTube. Uh, I'll, I'll paste the link in chat here in a second. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I have 3D printing, electronics, lasers, and you can see the Voron Zero in the back. I've got a build series and the Lulzbot Taz 289 if you want to check that out. <laughs> Uh, Thomas, there we go. Uh, also, <laughs> got a couple. Uh, yeah, Sierra 62 Crowley Strikes Back. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, and then uh, Zolan. Now, uh, this uh, is not the real Zolan. Okay, actually, people that know Zolan, this is how he's on the stream. He doesn't really, <laughs> he's not, um, with uh, you know, um, Disney. So. No, 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 no. I would move, I'd actually be more with Fox um, because I'd probably be closer with the Deadpool. It, I've <laughs> muting is probably a good thing for me. Um, <laughs> but um, Zolan Shop of Wonders uh, with a Z at the end. It was actually a T-shirt shop. I started a custom shop like your, like your daughter's, yeah, and cool. I gave up. <laughs> so I turned it into my hobbies. You'll find everything there, maker-wise, drone-wise, uh, amateur radio. Greg and myself are both amateur radio operators, um, as is Canadian Maker Project there. Uh, then, it, you know, I also have, as my, I, I have more hobbies than any person should. And <laughs> if you start, what if I start streaming next this weekend, you'll also see puppies. <laughs> nice, and they're, they're really cute. And if yeah. you notice what uh, you know, the trash panda did. He's not a panda, <laughs> but as uh, Jason said, well, you can see on the bottom, you know, of his little broadcast studio, he's got the picture of my uh, of my thumbnail. So oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty creative. So, all right, guys, I will. I thank you. I'll do the closing statement. I'll meet you guys in the green room. All right. Sounds Thanks good. Oh, they have control. Yes. So, all right, everyone. I really appreciate you tuning in. And uh, let me uh, just do. Uh, there we go. Get rid of the little boxes around me. So, I, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, we'll get this machine up and going um, most likely next week. So, uh, please be on the lookout for a no another live stream. I'm not the biggest fan of live streams because sometimes it gets uncomfortable. But you know, it's it's fun. You know, we get to hang out, and I'm glad it, it. You know that everyone had a good time. I hope they did. So even though it's cost me a little bit more money, I'll get this machine up and running, and then the community will have a video to reflect on on how it got fixed. So I really appreciate everyone tuning in, and I really hope everyone has a pleasant night, day, or weekend, or whenever they decide to rewatch this video. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.